California weather at its best. MLB The Show welcomes you to Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball, and it's next on the show. Clayton Kershaw gets the start for Los Angeles in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Matt, we're getting a chance to look at one of the all-time great left-handers. Clayton Kershaw is going to go down as one of the top five lefties ever to put on a pair of cleats. He may not throw as hard as he used to, but he still has that good slider-curveball combination. He's figured out how to win with diminished velocity. Expect Clayton Kershaw to continue to find ways to get hitters out. And now here Alex. is Alec Bohm. He will lead this one off today. Line to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Batting second. The second baseman. Didi Gregorio. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Dero, Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. And just passed his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Man, they're going to the batter's box looking to swing, being really aggressive. They've gotten two hits on the first three pitches of the game. The guy in the mound better figure out a way to nibble on the corners, or otherwise they're going to start hitting him all over the yard. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. Bohm at second. Gregorius at first with no outs. Now both runners on the move. He swings and misses. Throw down. And they will get the lead runner at third. A daring attempt with no outs on the scoreboard, and it doesn't pan out. Now the 1-2 pitch from Kershaw. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four-seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A swing by Hoskins and this is driven to deep left. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 23 for him thus far as the Phillies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. That is it. So the next the hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. Fouled away. McCutcheon. 
He comes in at 262 on the year. Nine homers and 23 driven in. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the two and two. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The pitch. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two-two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Count remains full. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Hit out towards second. Taylor has it. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. But the fightin' strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Home half of the first coming up at Dodger Stadium. It's now 2-0 Philly. Zach Wheeler gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Now with the plate is Zach Rex. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. One and one to the Dodgers' leadoff man. Rex is 6-2 and bats left, but throws right-handed. He was taken in the 10th round back in 2017. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Now the 2-1 pitch. Lifted down the line and left. After it is McCutcheon. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was that way behind seven. him when the swing the came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something oh, off speed, oh, yeah. and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate now, Jacob Amaya. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. The average down at an even 220. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on.
And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to that set the middle of the order up the right with field. an opportunity to do Smoky. some damage. So when you strike Bad. both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Next for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts, having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. And that misses inside 1-0. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone, pounding the zone. The 1-0. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting by your three-hole guy right there. First two guys, not so much. Now they bring up the monster in the four-hole with two outs. They have a chance to make a nice inning out of this. Here now is Will Smith. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. The first with it is Wheeler and the runner back. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. Betts, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground to the left side. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Ready now is JT Realmuto. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. Pretty average results. Four for 15. He also has one home run. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Batting seven. The shortstop. Gene Segura. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Stepping in now, Roman Quinn, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 1 1. Eight, two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable the to advance that leadoff back. single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So next to the plate for the Phils, Zach Wheeler. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball two. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Now the 2-0 home. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Betts. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Next up is Max Muncy. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Muncy, 30 years of age, he was a fifth-round pick during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Lays off two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Swung on and chopped up the middle. And there's one away. That exists. So no here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. Let's spot shadow Bryce Harper and why wouldn't we? He's only one of the best players in the game. He puts it on the line every night in the field and at the plate. Digging in will be Edwin Rios. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Here's the 0 and 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Here comes another 0 2. Pulled toward right center field. Harper has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting seven, the second baseman, Chris Taylor. Next up for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. His career line against Wheeler, he's one for five. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They're still down, it's two nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. The 0-2 delivery. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's 3-2. and two. From 0-2 to 3-2, and two, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He'll try it again, three and two. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Didi. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third, and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. First pitch on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And it's quickly 0-2. Gregorius 
also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. is a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes, so it's two up, two down to begin the third. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Liner in there for a base hit. Hard around first is Harper racing for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. Dan, that hit right there Up extends his hit streak to eight games. Are the you aware base. of stuff like that? Nice. No doubt about nice. it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Strike one to start the at-bat. Harper stands at second with two gone. Hoskins right. behind to count 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Ball two. Fouled off. the middle and that's through into center field base hit and this will not be close and the run will score easily the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired Phillies will have to be content with just the one we'll move on to the bottom of inning number three Phillies on top three to nothing The batter will be Gavin Lux. Not shortstop. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. The 1 0. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Sinker, three and two now. And a sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Batting no one on with the one pitcher. down. And up Great next man. will be the pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air to center field. Quinn is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting. The center fielder, Zach Rex. 
So the batting order turns over now and set to go Zach Rex. He went down swinging to start the home first. And the pitch. Fouled away. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Yeah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Here's the 0 and 2. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or oh, something sorry. slow below the zone? Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, Jacob Amaya. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 1-0. In the air, down the line in left. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Two out double left stranded. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off for the Phillies. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Oh. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. 3-0 and oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. Hey! You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And the count will be full. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 and to punch him out. One away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there Up with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Into the box now, JT Realmuto. 
as Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Lined hard to center field. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Now batting, shortstop, Gene Segura. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the first pitch. Hey! I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Muncie has got it, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order, but they lead it 3 nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. The, the right fielder, Mookie. Now here's the first offering. Betts. Rip down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. The now fans didn't it. even get, get a to chance it. to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just yeah. blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Into the box, Will Smith. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the belt, kicks and deals. <laughs> Betts leads off second with nobody out. And it's fouled away. Another 0 and 2 coming. Just a touch outside. 1 and 2. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. This is where a strikeout pitcher has such a big advantage. Runner on second and no outs is definitely a strikeout situation in order to keep that runner from getting to third with less than two outs. When you can do it, it changes the whole strategy of the inning. Even a ground ball to the right side makes this a lot more dangerous situation. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. One and one to the Dodgers' first baseman. One and one. One out and a runner on second base. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 1 is a fastball down below the knees. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The 
the three and one pitch. No runs, three hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. At the plate, Edwin Rios. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. The 1 0 home. All two. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two out here and a runner at second. And this one's over at the knees. Two and one. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Three ball, two Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Payoff pitch home. And he fouls this one off. The 3 2 one more time. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for L.A., still down 3 nothing. New inning set to get underway, and coming forward is the switch-hitting outfielder, Roman Quinn. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. Quinn is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Smith goes to get it, and the throw is there to record the first out. Up next so here now is the pitcher, the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. He flew Zach. out in his last A.B. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And 2-0 oh now as this misses below the knees. Might get the take sign here until he sees a strike. He's not known to be a very good hitting pitcher. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. It's amazing, I tell you. This guy's been absolutely cruising. The pitcher comes to the plate. You're thinking it's an easy out. You lose focus, let your guard down for a second. And now he's got a three-ball count. Three runs, six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And that's finally over for a strike.
tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Fouled off. Fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. It is taken high, but for a call, strike three. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality AB in my book. That brings up Alec Bohm. He's working on a one for two game so far. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a pitch runs in on him here and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Grounded softly to the right. He's got it. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. They've certainly gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so he said they have to change their mentality at the plate. They can't accept that they're running into good pitching and therefore don't stand a chance. He wants to see his guys simplify their approach and battle at the plate to at least put the ball in play. Leading off. All right, Dodgers, Heidi, thank you. The second baseman, Fred. Taylor. First pitch coming, here it is. Chris Taylor will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. One and one the count. And there's ball two now. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Three and two now. Hit hard down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Swing, line, drive, that's gonna be trouble. Through first and hustling for second. 
And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. At the plate now, Gavin Lux, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Now the 2-0. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Taylor stands at second with no outs. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Coming on is McCutcheon. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Up next for the Dodgers, the pitcher. Yuri Seager will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Corey Seager. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. This year against right-handed pitching, Seager is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Quinn calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now batting, center fielder, Seth Rex. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in, Zach Rex. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. One and oh, the count. Two balls and no strikes. The count to the Dodgers center fielder. Hey. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Now the 2-1 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. To the plate now, Jacob Amaya, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two.
first with it is Wheeler, just keeping him close. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. Now's a good time for your pitcher to take a deep breath. He still has the lead, although it probably doesn't feel like it. So he can't worry about how he got into this mess. He just has to figure out how to get out of this mess. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts to the left side, but it's well foul. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. There's Segura. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. Five innings complete. Philadelphia is on top, three to one. Dustin May takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Dodgers, number 85. Justin May. Here's Didi Gregorius. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Didi Gregorius. First delivery to him. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. The wind up and the 0 1. One ball, one strike. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Thing has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Bats on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting. The right fielder. Right. So one gone in the inning now, and that will bring in the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Whoa, that's down. in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Hit high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Well he was definitely struggling coming into this one but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Reese Hoskins will stand in here but before he does let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. A 
As a look, now the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh one one's the count. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Towards second. And there's out number two. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Andrew McCutcheon, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the belt, the pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Harper at third with two away. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Philly strand one as the lead remains three to one. Striding in is Will Smith. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Now the first pitch. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Well, this has been a completely different performance now, from Patty. the offense First that we baseball. saw yesterday. Now. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Standing in now, Max Muncy as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 0 1 pitch. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 and 2. 
two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. 0-2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Bases are empty, one man out. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting, the left fielder, Edward. Rios. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And that brings in Edwin Rios. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. In there, and he's in control 0-2 oh, now. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And d -Row right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable nope, right now with this ball. game. Yeah, Dan, you are a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. JT Real Muto. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. JT Real Muto. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Muncie has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Next, it'll be Gene Segura. He struck out and popped out in his two previous trips. And now the first pitch. Now, pitch on the way. Hard hit at third. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. The center fielder, number 24, Roman Quinn. Digging in, the switch hitter, Roman Quinn, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. One ball, no strikes the count. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll just put it in his pocket. It's an infield single. Up next for Philadelphia, the pitcher. Adam Hazley will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 40, Adam Hazley. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about him. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. Hey. 
And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Now a throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Quinn leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Now the 2 1. Ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, he made quick work of the now first two guys this half Good inning, base. getting two quick now outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Up next, Alec Bohm. He grounded out last time up. from the stretch breaking ball for a strike 0 and 1 after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here nice job of jumping ahead with strike one trying to keep the game close here's the pitch swing and a miss it's 0 and 2. From the stretch. Scorched to third. Fielded cleanly. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. The Phillies leave a couple, and it's still three to one. Hector Neris gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 50. Hector Neris. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Chris Taylor. The second baseman, Chris Taylor. First pitch on its way. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Here's a liner caught down there at third. And that'll take care of the leadoff man the here in the home seventh. Down. Shortstop, Gavin Luck. One gone now in the L.A. 7th, and up next will be Gavin Lux. He's set. Here it comes. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two now, runs, he puts himself no in scoring position no and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Justin Turner will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. For the Dodgers. Number 10, Justin Turner.
Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. The numbers coming in. He's at 255. Six home runs, 26 RBIs. Gregorius has it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. This is a head scratcher. I mean, that's the shortest throw on the infield, and somehow he lets it sail wide of the mark for an E4. A couple more like that, and doubt starts to creep into the second baseman's mind. Brendan Kinsler takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Brandon Kinsler. In now, Zach Rex. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Ready with the one and two. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Harper at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a three to two contest. That was a good controlled swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. High leverage at bat here, and standing in, it'll be Jacob Amaya, and he represents the potential go-ahead run. First offering, and that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and that hung in the middle of the plate, too late for him to pull a trigger. One ball, two Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. From the belt, the pitch. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Nice job in the box right there. Just a professional clean A-B. Didn't now cheat back. to anything. A lot of guys could have rolled that foul down the line. Not the case right here. Kept his hands back, stayed calm, and delivered a nice base hit. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's a perfect five for five. He's taken him deep once. Ball one.
changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ready with the 2-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Quinn finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Phillies three and the Dodgers two. Your Scott Alexander has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do Dodgers. so to start the eight. Number 75, Scott Alexander. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in is the power hitting the second, second baseman, baseman Didi Gregorius. First delivery to him. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Hey love the pitcher attack in the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate might as well steal that first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Okay, 1 and 1. And right into the shift. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The right field is a three. Bryce Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the A.B. now. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. Alexander is a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the park. It's a rare day that someone takes him deep, which obviously makes him a very valuable commodity in the bullpen. One of the things as a manager you want to do, you want to bring a reliever in and know that he can keep the ball in the ballpark, and this guy does a great job of that. He's near impossible to get the ball in the air to lift for a home run, and it's one of the reasons why he's a real effective relief pitcher. Two one here it is. He's oh, fallen behind now three and one. Reese Hoskins is on deck. The three one is in there for a full count now three and two. This one everything we could have hoped for three to two in inning number eight. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here comes the 0 1. Hey. hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. I got the count. One and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Two out, nobody on. Oh. 
high and deep down the left field line. And foul. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just hooked it foul. Again, a 1-2. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Phillies down in order, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 46, Jose Alvarado. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Will Smith. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0 home. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Outside and low, 3-0. and oh. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. And a 2-2 sinker falls in there. 3-2 and two now. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so the far. Bat. That's four strikeouts in the first two ah. games. So this pitching staff Monty. clearly has him figured out. Into the box, Max Muncy as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Muncie is retired. Two down now. now you know, back. professional catchers make those plays look Edward. easy most of the time. But that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run. So that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted.
At the plate now, Edwin Rios, as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Inner third let go, it's a called strike. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Pure dominance on the mound as he strikes out the side in order. More ahead from Dodger State. Blake Trinan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Leading off for Philadelphia, the left fielder, number 22, Andrew First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0 home. Two balls, no fun. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Two and zero count and the pitch. Two balls and a strike. Now the two one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who like to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Plate now, JT Real Muto. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Trinan, a 32 year old veteran, he was selected in the seventh round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 now. Two and one after the foul ball there. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Gene Segura will be next. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And the sinker runs too low here as he loses him. It's ball four. Well, he walked him on five now pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Gene Segura standing in. Career against Blake Trinan. He's three for nine. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Outside, and a slider tails outside for ball one. Aye. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Aye. 
Outside, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. All on the ground at first. Can this be two? To second for one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Nothing doing here this half. Nothing in the Philadelphia ninth. Last chance coming up for the guys in blue. They trail it here three to two. And Joe Girardi is going to get up off the dugout bench and confer at home plate. So we'll likely see a double switch here. Roberto Ozuna comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Digging in will be Chris Taylor. He'll start things out against go. Roberto Look Ozuna, who for his part goes the for the save in this one. Chris Taylor. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for strike two. I mean, you saw this guy flinch at the plate. He was thinking that buzzed the tower, but then to get it popped to strike is tough. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a ball hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'll be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Standing in now, Gavin Lux, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Back up the middle, Torres fields it cleanly. The second for one, back to first, and a costly at-bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. Oh man, that's Number just 20. a backbreaker right there. You get the leadoff man to start the ninth, and you're looking pretty good, right? Not when the next guy bounces into a double play. We'll see if they can get the final out and wrap this thing up. Cody Bellinger will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 35, Cody. Bellinger. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Harper has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Phils wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Zach Wheeler earns 